everyone welcome back to the channel panther schools my name is amit singh and i hope you all are doing great so we are here in the episode 12 of our whatsapp plus salesforce integration series in the previous video we have seen how we can utilize platform event for a real time chat real time whatsapp chat and we have also seen a demo that uh, we are able to send the message uh, chat to the customers and we are also able to receive those messages whenever customer we are sending a reply to our message as we talked about in the previous video that we are going to take the dynamic record id for the whatsapp message whatever the message the customer has opened or the user not customer the user has opened we are going to take the record id then we are going to read the read the customer id and then we are going to display the message automatically so that the customer not the customer the user really don't need to provide the customer phone number explicitly in order to chat with them so the current functionality is like the current functionality is like this you the user has to come up and provide a customer phone number and then click on this button so we really wanted to get rid of this particular piece of manual work that users are doing so let's quickly see how we are going to read the first the record id then the customer phone and then display the chat message before we go ahead one thing that we forgot to implement in the previous video is handle unsubscribe method whenever the component component is disconnected so as we talked about we already had implemented unsubscribe method from lightning emp api we are going to implement that method over here this is very simple like it has to use the name of or method that we have implemented or not implemented imported and then the subscription record which we wanted to unsubscribe it actually gives us a callback method which has a response and we're just saying unsubscribe response or maybe unsubscribed from the channel whatever the channel we are trying we have subscribed in our case it is whatsapp message event it could be anything like you can subscribe any platform event it's not only for this whatsapp message event next thing that we have to do is as we talked about we are going to read the record id so let's quickly do how we are going to record id it's very simple in any lwc if your lwc is sitting in the record detail page it is very simple that you can get the record id how you can get that it is like at the rate api you just need to use the same variable which i have typed here that is a record id and we are also going to get the object api name the reason we are going to get the object api name because we really wanted to have this uh, component this component sitting into the contact detail page as well so to do that we have to use again api and then type the variable called object api name like this in object api name the letter a and letter n both are going to be in capital so as soon as we use these two variables two properties into our lightning web component we are going to get the record id of the record wherever we are in as well as the object api name now here we are in in our connected callback first thing that we really need is uh, we need to get the phone number of customer where we are in right so to do that let's quickly create a method i'm going to create an aura enabled method this method is going to return a s object okay i'm going to get rid of this try catch the name of the method we will say get customer phone we are going to pass a parameter what parameter we are going to pass we are going to say a string query this is our name of parameter now what we are going to return is we are going to return database dot query and this is our query that we wanted to return i'll tell you why we are just taking the query and then returning that so making this a small method or writing this a small method into our apex class is going to do the trick for us now this class has been deployed let's get back to our developer console first because I wanted to showcase why we have used the query parameter instead of taking the record ID and the other things. So let's go to query uh, like editor 
query editor here i'm going to say select id phone from contact and then maybe we can have the where condition that we wanted to have later on but first now let's execute this so you can see that you are getting the phone and everything you are able to get it over here right now if i have to query my object called whatsapp message and the field is going to be customer phone and execute it okay it should be underscore underscore c and you can see that i've got the customer phone for all the whatsapp message now if i want i can put a maybe filter say where id equal to the record id which i am in and you can see that i've got only one record so what we are going to do here in our uh, javascript within the connected callback the first thing that we will do is we are going to create query string as a variable and within the connected callback we are going to use a if condition we will say this dot object api name equal to equal to contact if not then we are again going to use else if this dot object api name equal to equal to the name of our object we are going to use and then what we will say we will say this dot query string now here what we are trying to do is we are trying to prepare the dynamic query okay how we are going to prepare is utilize this uh, port tick to make the query as dynamic and here we wanted to have our own record id so how we will uh, refer our record id variable that is like we are going to use a dollar sign curly braces and then we will say this dot record id and this query is perfect for us okay similarly we are going to do for contact and this time we need to change the field name object name and in our else if condition put the api name of your whatsapp message we are doing this later on if you really want to do this for maybe lead object right because lead also has a own field so you can also do for lead object you can also extend it for the further object that does really have a phone number and you really wanted to initiate a whatsapp chat with them so you've got this query now next thing what we are going to do here is we've got this query everything is working fine and then we are going to have a method to will say handle customer phone it's going to be a javascript method and this method is going to call our apex method which we have just created so let's import that method over here on the top of our javascript we will say get customer phone from at the rate salesforce apex whatsapp lwc service is our class and then get customer phone is our method which we have just developed so now we have imported this we are going to put it over here imperatively it's going to take one parameter and the name of parameter is query and what we have within javascript is query a string okay now it's going to take or not take return the promise that has two method then and catch so we are going to implement that first so we've got uh, catch then is going to return us the response catch is going to return us the errors and then let's have the finally method implemented so we have got then if there is a something that means we have got a response maybe we need to check if the phone is really uh, if there is a phone number available in that uh, string or not right for lead the api name is going to be same but for custom object the api name is going to be a different one so based on that based on the custom object or the standard object we are going to get the response and get the value of our phone field that we really wanted to implement now here what we are going to do is we are going to in the response we are going to say okay if this dot maybe we are going to utilize the same if this object uh, this is the object name maybe we are going to say else f like else if going to say either it is a lead or it is contact now we are going to use the same could be lead or contact if that is the case we are going to say this dot phone equal to 
response and then here we are going to put the api name of our phone field that is phone in this case and in this case it is uh, customer phone because we cannot use the like we can even use the dot notation but as this is a dynamic uh, object that we are getting from the system so we really wanted to take the uh, benefit of our dynamic variable accessing using javascript so i hope you already are aware about what uh, this does and how we are, we are actually doing this so we are going to get the phone over here now if there is any error maybe you can do the console log or console error that's the something we are not going to cover here for now and then this method we are going to call once all this is done we are going to call this dot handle customer phone js it's going to call this method now later on what we are going to do is as there is a method which actually gets the data from our yeah so this method handle chat method is something which is responsible for uh, getting the list of all the messages related to the customer phone that we have so we really need to call this method first but if you see here this method is actually taking a parameter called event and using a uh, prevent default if there is any event but when we will be calling this from our method let's say from here we will say this dot handle maybe chat because we cannot pass an event we really don't have any event here so we cannot really pass that and once that happens it this line is going to break that uh, there is no event this is undefined and we're going to get the error what error is there let's quickly deploy the changes and first i would like to showcase you the error before i directly go ahead and solve it once the error is there we are going to see how we can resolve this so we are here after deploying the changes into the record detail page of our message i'm going to do the inspect and open the console log in order to showcase the error that we are going to get okay so we are not getting anything uh, nothing is happening so let let's see what is because we are getting this subscribe channel messages there so there could be some issue maybe some typo mistake that we might have made here so we have got this handle customer phone js query string we have got let's quickly maybe i'm going to do a console.log and then here also we are going to do a console.log either it is calling the method or not because we are not able to see any error and then we have got this handle chat to make sure yeah this is correct the method is correct we've got this connected callback is happening subscribe and event listener is happening method uh, the object api name we've got this as correct maybe i'm going to also do the console log just to make sure that we are getting the correct api name yeah we have we have basically done uh, like uh, uh, we did uh, uploaded the code the latest code to salesforce and uh, we can see the object api name is there uh, we can also see that uh, uh, this uh, customer phone is there the record id the phone number is also being uh, like uh, it, it is being displayed so up to here it's uh, completely fine so there could be so basically the error is there in this method and that error is not actually coming here uh, in the ui so but i'll tell you as this uh, parameter the event parameter is undefined like because we're not sending anything so by default it's going to be uh, undefined right and then uh, here we are trying to use uh, prevent default so what is happening here is it's saying uh, it's saying undefined dot prevent default so it's it is basically giving giving us the error so what we will do is we will say okay if event that means if there is some event then only use this prevent default because uh, we are also calling this handle chat method at the time of our button click so that is uh, where it has said if there is a event then then only do the prevent default de prevent the default behavior otherwise just uh, do the rest what you really want what you what you really are trying to do okay and uh, then there is something which we also have to take care of this uh, handle validate so what we will do is we'll say let 
all valid we are going to create a new parameter a local property here and then we're going to have a console for this property as well all valid and then we have got uh, we need to use this all valid and let's see that is the reason we are checking all this because this is going to get into the handle validate method right and we might get some error because we really don't have anything in, in that input the input box that we have this one so now let's refresh this page and see what exactly is happening so you see here it says all valid is false and we are getting that message error message over here the reason is that because uh, we are trying to use the handle validate method and that is actually getting us into the error so how we will solve this so now we are going to say if all valid all valid is true or there is nothing in this event when we say nothing that means this event is undefined so if we are calling this method uh, from a button we are going to get into this all valid because the event is also going to be there so both are going to be there if not we are really going to like if the there is no event um, like all valid should be there or there is nothing in the event okay that's what we are going to okay if we do this it is really going to fail for us so what we will do is now we're going to create a new method and we're going to take this everything that we have within this method this part we are going to create a new method we will say handle list all messages and paste it over here the reason we are doing it we are going to call this method from our connected callback and we are also going to call this method from here like the new method that we have created handle list all messages so we are saying okay now if there is all valid once the user click on handle chat and if everything is all valid then call this method and as we all know that uh, when we are within connected callback everything is all valid we really don't need to verify the input this input we really don't need to verify so that's why we are going to call that method so this is again a reusable method we are not doing anything we're just calling it within the all valid if condition to make sure that we are taking care of both the huge cases because there could be some scenario where our component is sitting at certain places uh, from where we really want to make it work now let's refresh this page and you can see here right now we are able to see the messages and every single thing is working fine and if i say hello that message should uh, get sent and i have received that message so if i now reply here I've just replied so that reply is going to get added over here you quickly see and the reply is really getting added in the real time in the near real time not real time so that is what we really wanted to have now if we talk about uh, because we have seen right uh, in our code we have seen that we are taking care of contact we are taking care of lead as well um here yeah we're taking care of contact lead and whatsapp message and on the same hand we are also taking care of lead contact and whatsapp message so let's go ahead and uh, this customer i have relabeled basically contact as a customer okay let's go to this uh, customer and we have this page uh, this chat page is already here but this is a different one so we will edit this and we are going to have our new component that we have created so from the left hand side in the quick search box search for chat and you will find my whatsapp chat this is what our component is uh, the newly created component and you can see here right uh, the code has been basically uh, if, if you talk about the outcome of our component has been changed and we are in the like way where the chat is being displayed but there is no chat uh, the reason i'll tell you why the chat is not there so let's come back here uh, go to like we are going to get back to the our detail page our contact and you can see here right the it it is kind of opening a chat message if we say hello we try to send it it's not going to even uh, maybe it is sending and i have received that message okay so i really have received that message here it says hello 
and then i'm going to uh, maybe send some messages these are the emojis so the messages are here uh, but those messages are not being or uh, maybe displayed over here so th there are the reasons uh, there are reasons why it's not being displayed so if you see here right uh, we have got this customer phone is like uh, there is no plus one if you talk about but if you talk about the top here or maybe if you see there is a plus sign which is uh, added into the phone number so if i maybe edit this contact page and remove this plus sign from the phone number and then save it and later on if i refresh this page i would be able to see the complete chat which we have done with this customer you clearly see now the emojis are also coming here so why this is happening so first thing we are going to keep this like this only we're going to keep this as plus sign the reason we really wanted to uh, tackle these scenarios because uh, there could be some records where you have the phone numbers like this uh, where it really has a plus sign right it really has a plus sign so what we are going to do is now we're going to make changes into our code which is going to replace a plus sign with a blank value so that we can make sure that we are synchronized we are able to get all the details about that customer so how we are going to do that is uh, once we've got this phone so what we will say uh, say is we'll say uh, this dot phone equal to this dot phone dot replace there is a replace keyword in our uh, <coughs> javascript and we are going to put what we wanted to replace is this is not a keyword this is a method what we wanted to replace is plus with a blank value and before we go ahead let's quickly test it in our browser itself we have this phone number let's take this and let's create the phone here in the browser console put it and then we are going to say phone equal to phone dot replace you see there is a method called replace and what we really wanted to replace is a plus with the blank values now you can see this is the correct data that we really want and if we say phone and then we hit enter we got the phone number here so that's we that is what we really have to do over here in our javascript file and let's save it and there could be some more phone numbers like those have uh, uh, like the phone numbers could be like this right like this there has been some numbers like this where it has uh, some opening and closing curly parenthesis then they have a space so what we really have to do is uh, we can also tackle those here like we can uh, say dot replace here itself what we really wanted to replace is uh, closing and opening parenthesis is the blank value and then we really wanted to replace the space with the blank value right so this is all we really have to do here the reason we really have to do is like we really don't want it to uh, get into a situation where the phone number is not of the correct type that whatsapp api needs now here if you really do right uh, if you try to say all other values you will still see the phone number is the same that we need and then other validations like it should have a country code and other th those things your validation you could put those validation at the record level itself so that a uh, user is only entering the new records with the country code not having the space all those things now after we have deployed our latest code after removing all the details from a phone number you can see here now we're not doing anything with this phone and we are able to see the chat the chat is there now i'm going to maybe reply with some other emojis other set of emojis and you can see here now the emojis are here so we are basically able to uh, get the information uh, clearly we are able to read the record ids of our contact or whatsapp message and now we really don't need to provide the customer number later point if you want to chat with another customer that button uh, that button we have given or the capability or we will say the feature for a customer not a customer for a user to chat with another customer or maybe they can navigate to a different customer and then they can start chatting so that's really something we 
I wanted to I wanted to showcase here in this video. So so far we have been sending the text messages uh, to the customers and we were receiving the text messages. And if you notice, maybe if I open any WhatsApp message, you might notice it, notice some blank message over here. These are nothing. These are the image and video messages. That's why we are not able to display anything. Um, but in the next video, we are going to see how you can uh, send the message using templates from WhatsApp or from Salesforce. So we have seen that we, there are template concept. We are going to see how we can send those templates using Apex. Thank you.